This week on Ask the Eagle, I'm answering the question, what's the difference between 110 and 220 power? When you moved here from the States, chances are you brought some appliances with you. Hair dryer, crock pot, even gaming systems. And you might be thinking to yourself, all you need is one of these babies. A 220 converter. Or you might think you need one of these behemoths. Oh, a 220 transformer. Now all appliances pretty much have labels that tell their voltage range. So transformers convert 220 to 110, and you can get all sorts just about everywhere, but make sure you know what you're getting first. So I'm going to test out a couple of these things to see if they work in both ranges. Let's start with a hair dryer. So it's rated for 110, let's try it out. Low, high, low, high, it works like normal. Now let's try it in 220. So now it's on 220, let's try it again. This is on low. I can't even turn it to high because it's locked. It's locked because if I turned it on high, it would blow up. And that would be bad. So now that you've seen the difference between the two, I've got a better idea. Light bulbs. Now I know it sounds simple, but there are all sorts of light bulbs, so you really have to be careful with what you choose. This is a 110 bulb plugged into a 110 transformer, if we plug it into a 220 spot, what do you think is going to happen? We're about to find out. All right, now that I'm behind my safety glass, got my safety goggles, and I got my safety guy with me. Let's try it out. Well, that was anticlimactic. Come on. You were supposed to break. So as you can see, it may not blow up, but you still want to be careful because it will burn out your light bulbs a lot faster. So we figured out that you can't blow up a light bulb by just plugging into 220, but we're going to make it blow up. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so remember to check your voltage before plugging things into the wall to make sure things like this don't explode. If you like what you saw and you have any questions, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below, or you can send us an email at afnspang at gmail.com.